The Mississippi River overflowing its banks in southwest Mississippi has been a part of farming here since the first settlers staked their right to this land back hundreds of years ago. But farmers didn't have to worry about their land and commodities and their way of life being threatened as often as they do today. When I was a, a young man, we had a backwater every once in a while. In 73, we had a water as big as the 27 flood, and that was a big deal. And my uncles and my father, Mike McCormick's dad, he's one of my uncles, they said, you need to look at this because you'll never see it again. Okay, I was 57 foot on the Natchez gauge. But we had 57 foot on the Natchez gauge in, in February, March of this year. You know, we're, we're, getting, uh, we're getting flooded more and more. We've had a flood eight or nine out of the last 10 years. Because of the frequency of the flooding, Farm Bureau has approached state and federal officials to start discussions about what can be done. On this day, the commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers out of Vicksburg, Major General Richard Kaiser, met face-to-face -face with southwest Mississippi farmers. And we go up and down the river and we hear testimony from people who are affected by the river. And, and then we take that testimony and try to figure out what is the best solution for our country and for the river. And you can hear about something, but until you get on the ground and see the lives that are affected, it's different. So this was a great uh, visit and I uh, really appreciate what everybody, the, the farmers do around here. On this tour, General Kaiser and his team heard plenty about what is taking place. Currently, plans are in the initial stages, plus an amendment to the farm bill is up for discussion to create a committee to study the flood prone area and report back with its findings. Still, neither option calms the fears farmers have of losing another crop. We got people working with us and we're going to, and we're, the, eventually the Corps of Engineers will solve this problem. Uh, the, the river's filling in and they're trying to control it with earthen dams. And if the river fills in enough, you cannot control the flow of the Mississippi River between two earthen dams. We've either got to deepen the channel or divert the river to Morgan City or do something. And they're gonna, in a few years, they'll get that done. But I just, we've been farming that bottom since the 1800s and I don't wanna go broke while they're trying to solve that problem. And that's why Farm Bureau is involved, to bring leaders straight to the people who stand to lose everything. We've identified a problem. They understand that it is a problem and that they're willing to work on it. Now, I don't think tomorrow we're gonna get this fixed. Um, but I do think at some point down the road that uh, we'll come up with an answer where the, everybody can uh, uh, live along the river and, and uh, farm and raise their, their families here.